what other preparation is important as we anticipate going through the valley of the shadow of death? Yeah, because I think in the when we hear that verse, you know, it, we see that we do go through the valley, but your rod and your staff, they comfort me. I, I think there's a very powerful message in that, that there's comfort that comes. And where do we find that comfort in this valley? Well, I, I think there's, um, from the very first verse that we read, you know, there are green pastures. There's a reminder that there are greener pastures waiting for us. And if we keep reading 23, it talks about a prepared table, a feast, a banquet that's awaiting us, a cup that's overflowing, and a house where we can dwell with our God forever. I mean, that's good news. You know, we talk mm. about the valley, but there is good news in this message. Mm. Uh, furthermore, I, I, I was just, um, last week, I don't know, I, I do the, our daily bread devotions in the mornings, and um, last week there was, one of the devotion was from Psalm 46. And there, in Psalm 46, if you don't mind, real, read it real quick. It starts off by saying, God is our refuge and strength, our ever-present help in trouble. And what was interesting, uh, the devotion said that um, the writer of this psalm proclaims that God doesn't just give us strength, God is our strength. I think that's, that just blew my mind when I read that, that God doesn't just give us strength. Yea, though I walk through the um, valley shadow of death, you comfort me. Not only comfort me, but he is what gives us the strength to go through these troubles. We don't even have to rely on our own self. And so all we have to do is reflect that hope to others that there is strength out there mm. that you can rely on when you go through these troubles.